Ron Carter, any of you know his dad, Chris Carter, uh, player on uh, the USA Today national champion, uh, St. Thomas Aquinas team out of Fort Lauderdale. Excellent range. Really, uh, we've had him, uh, we've known him since he was young, and uh, he's got great speed. He's really gotten bigger and stronger, and uh, he's got that kind of range that his dad had, and his dad will admit he's faster than his dad was. Although, when Chris was here, Jim Lachey outran him. Isn't that right, Jim? Good football player, six foot four, and excellent student. His mother would have it no other way. He played in that uh, Under Armour game. Here he's shown blocking. You're not afraid to have a little bit of contact. In fact, on his little highlight film that he made on his own, there was as many blocks as there were catches. <coughs> Excellent hands. Dominic Clark, a speedster out of Tuscarora High School over in Maryland. He's a guy that uh, will start out at corner, but he's can <coughs> handle the ball as well. Excellent speed. When we were recruiting him, he showed us on his cell phone the race in the 300 meters uh, indoor where he beat Lamar Thomas. Now, Lamar wasn't happy about that, but uh, he can run. hear from him a little bit later today. Corey Brown from Gateway, same high school as Dorian Bell. Corey's a guy that we think can play receiver or corner, and uh, we like to have our corners and receivers come in and, and uh, play a little bit of both in preseason and find out where they'll be, kind of like Gonzo and Teddy and Chris Gamble and those guys, and we'll see what, uh, see what fits them and what our needs are. Good physical guy, got good range, played in the uh, in that U.S. Army game. Made a great uh, catch for a touchdown in that ball game. 